Good afternoon, YouTube modelers. Coming to you from Moscow, Idaho. I'm going to start on my first ever video build of for YouTube. As you can see in front of me, I have the Super Scale 1 16th Dodge Charger from Buddy Baker. Uh, I am going to use the box stock. Um, decal sheet for it. Uh, they are printed very nicely. I wanted to just go ahead and use those. Uh, I thought about getting the number 11 ones, but opted against it. So a quick run through on the instruction sheet. Uh, gives you a little background on Buddy's career. Uh, front chassis, battery, um, torsion bars. I'm not going to go through the parts themselves. Um, wheel assemblies. Um, I did, I don't know if you can see those real well. Move the light over. Um, I did just get my, let me grab one, my jelly roll pins. Um, you can see there, this one, I got a three-piece set. It's an 05, 08, and a 1.0 tip. These have the raised Goodyear lettering. Um, although it does look pretty nice, and it after a few days, it dries really nice. Uh, I went ahead and ordered decal sheets for this. Um. And you can see I already started uh, cutting the lettering off. Um, for those of you that don't want to use decals, you can just use a nice gel pen and do your lettering on there. Um, this is going to be a fully detailed out model. Um, wiring, hoses, nuts, bolts, you name it. Um, body pan. Um, there's the electric box, pedals, gas, fire extinguisher, I mean. Um, I'm going to try to drill these out and actually put studs in here so I can put bolts on there. I've got some uh, bolt details, some hex nuts. Uh, it looks like the 0090 hex nuts and bolts are going to be about right, so I'm going to order some of those from Micromark. The oil reservoir and oil tank, um, roll cage, um, which I'm going to show you here in a minute. The engine assembly, which I have already started as well, and I'll show you here in a minute. One thing I did really like about this kit is they give you the firing order, so I did not have to look that up. Um, all these fittings and stuff, I will be using... What are they called? They're just just hose fittings. This is the 112th batch from Top Studio. I have two sizes, uh, 112th resin hose joints and 124th and 120 hose joints. I'll be using those for all my hose connections. Um, I'll be doing my own pipes. Uh, body panels. Uh, I'll be doing my own uh, window net as well, um, and that's about it. Pretty, pretty basic. Um, jack stands. Show you those real quick. One of the first things I just painted up and got out of the way. Um, basically, you can see they're pretty simple to paint, put together. They're four-piece construction, uh, two for the base, uh, the stand part itself, and then this little jack key to hold it up. Okay, now we're going to go into what I've done so far. Box art-wise, um, you can see it's got great box art. thing I don't like... Uh, 
you can see here is how high that sits up. I'm really going to be adjusting the stance on this. Uh, this thing's going to be sitting down like the picture. Uh, it'll be sitting down pretty low. So here is the chassis and where I've got on it so far. Basically, this here, the way it connects back here, there's no pins to connect those on either side. So I had to carefully tape these two pieces down so I could glue it to the back. And I used uh, Camino Cement because it does act like a welder. Um, and melts the metal or melts the plastic and acts like a weld and then just lined everything up taped everything down let it set for a day taped it all together let it set for a day and boom there we are so I got the chassis done um, pretty good detail on here I do have sinkholes that I have to fill in um, not a lot. Uh, I've seen worse. Uh, I've seen better, but I've also seen worse. Pretty crisp details on the chassis. Um, all these pins here, again, will be um, replaced with these uh, Top Studio hose connectors and joint connectors. Started on the rear end, getting it... Uh, glued together and cleaned up and let's move on to the engine now I did get a uh, pretty good start on the engine uh, got the headers together got everything synced and lined up there um, as you can see this one has the rocker detail inside the valve cover I'm not sure yet I might order a set of spark plugs from RB Motion. Um, this does come with one clear valve cover so I may display that on one side of the engine. I, I'm just not sure yet. You can see on the front cover here um, use my nut and bolt details on here all the way around you can see I'm missing one. You put such a small drop of glue on there that uh, they get hit and they go flying off but I've got a whole bunch these are nut and bolt details by Ming M-E-N-G uh, I get them at my favorite hobby shop uh, Burbank House of Hobbies um, but you have bolt head on one side and then you got the bolt and nut on the other side very good for details I just uh, picked up their next size up these are the um, bolt head side which if, you, if I can read it here that starts at 2.6 millimeter and goes down to 1.8 millimeter and these started at I think 0.8 and went up to 1.4 so there's multiple sizes but then you can see on the other side, see if you can get a good picture of those. Excellent bolt and nut detail on the back side of there. So if you're detailing something, very good to work with. Um, again, I don't, I don't want to post uh, uh, my favorite hobby shop's name. I do need to still contact them to find out if, for whatever reason, if I can actually put their name on uh, my videos. Um, I don't think they'll have a problem with it. Uh, they're an awesome uh, hobby shop. They have lots of supplies. Um, almost everything I need I get from them. Um, my Tamiya paints my model master paints I got all my model master lacquers from them um, they carry the full spread of almost the full spread of Timmy and paints they have all clads pretty much everything uh, back to the model um, 
Here you can see the big elephant manifold. Uh, I've got the bolt details on those. There's 22 of these all the way around the manifold. Um, but as you can see, uh, it sure gives the manifold a lot of detail. And then I painted my valve covers flat black. The engine is painted hemi orange. Uh, the bell housing, which you can see I have more bolt head details on the bell housing. The bell housing is painted Chrysler engine red. And then, of course, the transmission is painted aluminum. Um, same with this. I just masked it off and painted this uh, hemi orange. And then aluminum and silver that will be plumbed with electrical wires which I want to show you real quick the electrical wires that I use I find multiple avenues to use stuff around me at all times uh, we had our old iPhone 4 cables these are I'm gonna zoom in here real quick for you these are the wires that are inside. These are actually wires. They are, I don't think that's going to focus for you. Um, but anyway, it has a cloth outer. There's multiple colors depending on the cables, different cables. But it has that old cloth look. It has a wrapped wire look. Um, I took apart two of my son's old cables and I've got tons of wiring. There's another big set. Plenty to use there. Um, this will be fully plumbed. Uh, I do have, I've been trying some different avenues for the distributor cap. I thought about ordering uh, orange boots from RB Motion. But instead, I decided to use this heat shrink tubing. And that looks perfect perfect size on this distributor. So when it comes down to it, I'll end up doing that for each cylinder. Um, the oil cooler, like I said, this is, uh, I've drilled the back of those, uh, pinned them. So when I get down to it, these will go off to one side and then off to the other side. So all of my connections will be done by these hose, hose connectors. If there's a straight uh, hose to pipe fitting necessary, I'll either use aluminum. Uh, I have some sheet aluminum or I'll use bare metal foil matte aluminum to make, uh, make the hose uh, tie wrap for it. So. All right, and that's all the farther I've got on this. Uh, I'm going to start documenting as I start building on this. I will start documenting more and more as we go. All right, thanks again from Moscow, Idaho. If you have any comments or questions, please post them below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks, and have a blessed day.